Hello again everyone, it's Valerie from Wonderfill and today I'm going to talk about big stitch hand quilting with a heavier thread. I love using this technique when I want to add a personal touch to my quilts and the slight imperfections of hand stitching add a certain charm. There are a lot of threads you can choose from when doing hand quilting and they all have a unique look. I'm going to show you three of my favorite hand quilting threads to get you started. A nice basic hand quilting thread is Eleganza. This is an eight weight pearl cotton thread, so it has a soft sheen to its matte finish. The thread is thick enough that it stands out boldly against your quilt. Another thread I'm going to show you is Fruity, which is a 12 weight variegated cotton thread. It's a bit thinner than Eleganza, but thick enough that it still stands out. And since it's variegated, you'll have a lovely color change moving throughout your quilting. Here we have Dazzle, an eight weight rayon thread with a single strand of metallic woven through. Normally, I wouldn't recommend a rayon thread to hand quilt with because it's so slippery, but because of the metallic, it has enough grip to stay in place. This thread is great for wall quilts or art quilts. And finally, a useful trick is to apply painter's tape along the line you want to quilt on. This is a lot faster than measuring out and drawing a line to follow. To start, I'm going to peel a length of tape and put it where I want to do my quilting. Since the tape isn't too sticky, I can peel it off when I'm done without leaving any residue. I'm going to use the Eleganza thread first. You can use a chenille number 24 hand needle, but any needle with a large enough eye to fit the thread will also work. To begin, I've cut a manageable length of thread, not too long that it will get tangled. On the opposite end from the needle, I'm going to tie a simple knot. Once that's done, I'm going to choose a position slightly before I want my actual quilting to begin and poke the needle through to the batting, but not far enough that it goes through to the backing. Pull the needle all the way to the knot and once it reaches the fabric, give it a sharp tug so that it goes through the fabric and gets buried behind. You're now ready to begin your stitching. You can decide how large you want your stitches to be, just try to keep your spacing consistent. Poke your needle down the length of the stitch you want it to be, but don't poke it all the way through. Poke the tip through and repeat to load two or three stitches on your needle. Now drop the needle down flat and push the needle through. It helps to keep your thumb in front to push the fabric closer to the needle so that you don't end up with too big a stitch. Now, if I happen to run out of thread or want to finish off my line of stitching, I need to bury my thread. To do that, I'm going to tie another knot close to the base of the fabric. It helps to keep my finger on the knot before pulling the thread all the way through to keep the knot as close to the fabric as possible. Now, put your needle through the same hole. Slide it through the batting and come up a little ways away. And pull the thread all the way through, giving it a little tug to get the knot through. Now you just need to snip the thread and your knot will hide nicely behind the fabric. And that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to peel the tape away so you can see what a nice straight line I've got from using the tape. I'm going to put the tape down again and start a new line to fill up the fabric. For comparison, I've done more hand quilting over here using Dazzle, the eight weight rayon and metallic thread. It's the same weight as Eleganza, but that strand of metallic gives it a lot of sparkle for a totally different effect. I've also done another section here using Fruity, the 12 weight variegated cotton thread. You can see it's quite a bit thinner and how that variegated color adds dimension and movement. So there you have it. The act of hand quilting a quilt can be very therapeutic and meditative and it really takes you back to the origins of quilting. So there you have it. You can create such a natural look by hand stitching, something that you can never achieve with a machine. It might be a little time consuming, but with a little patience it's totally worth it. Thanks again for tuning in and please subscribe for more tips and tricks. We'll see you next time.